My mom has a permanently stuck in the 80s thing. We're talking teased up feathered hair, acid washed denim jacket, and shoulder pads. So many shoulder pads. But I just got a new phone from AT&T. And check this out. I got a second phone to gift my mom. So now she can finally ditch her old one for a phone that can actually stream all the 80s shows she loves. Come into an AT&T store and find out how to get a smartphone on us. AT&T. More for your thing. That's our thing. See store for details. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1204. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I became called the Big Game Hunter when I was hunting down leaders and staff organizations. I did it for more than 40 years, and now, as a coach, I help people play big. A lot of what people come to me for is around career coaching, job search coaching, things along those lines. But I also do leadership coaching. That is helping people, once they're in their new roles, be successful as a hiring manager, be successful as a leader in an organization. Now, today's show is one that deals with when you should prepare your references. Should you wait until the time you're about to get the offer? When should you do it? Hope you find this helpful. Hope you give it a great review. And now, let's get going. I want to talk with you today about preparing your references. And most people prepare their references around the time that they're getting the job offer, which is really too late. You know, you're going to be feeling a certain amount of stress. Um, You're going to have to suddenly scramble to find these folks. You may unintentionally... Um, contact some people, I shouldn't say contact, but offer up some names and contact information from people who aren't necessarily your biggest fans. So I want to start by saying, first of all, if you're going to provide someone as a reference, uh, talk with them at the beginning of your job search, not at the critical juncture when you have to provide a reference. you know, be prepared with their, you know, their current organization, their job title, uh, phone number and email address. Um, talk with them about how they would describe your work. Uh, you know, find out the positives. Find out about some of the critical things they might say. Not because you want to uh, eradicate them, but you know, consider it useful information for you to have. Many organizations are going to ask about weaknesses. Uh, You might as well find out directly from one of your references what they might say. If they say something extremely critical, extremely destructive, um, well, frankly, it's better to know about it at the beginning of your search than when you need to provide the reference, doesn't it? So uh, find out at the beginning of your search what these folks will say about you. Provide contact information. Um, when you get down to the point where you're actually providing them with a reference, uh, providing them their name and contact information as a reference, let them know who's going to probably be calling, uh, whether it's going to be someone from the firm or a recruiter like me, uh, because sometimes my clients ask me to do the reference checks for them, uh, whether uh, it might be an outside service checking a reference. Uh, confirm dates. Um, you know, confirm what they'll say about your dates, your title, things along those lines with them, uh, as you did at the beginning of the interview. And here's the critical thing. Talk with them about some of the things that you've said in the interview, some of the themes that you've offered up to describe your work. Uh, if, you know, for example, uh, if you were on a project that was considered a critical project um, and delivered it two weeks early. You might be able to tell the potential employer that this person is going to be very able to talk about how you were able to deliver a project early uh, that no one else uh, was getting anywhere near delivering at all. You, you get the idea. Maybe not that example, but you know what the special characteristics are that this person might be able to talk about. It's not that your references are going to guarantee that you get more money, but they certainly can guarantee that you don't get hired or that the offer is a neutral offer. You know, after all, if someone says, well, he was okay in that tone of voice, 
well, there's a message that an employer hears in that. They don't know that that person might be in the middle of a meeting and is trying to be helpful, and they're distracted by five people in their office. They just know, well, he was okay. And you don't want references ever given like that. Um, you might just simply see if you can schedule a date and time for them to talk, uh, things along those lines that preclude those sorts of issues. So, again, in summary, uh, find, or establish your res references at the beginning of your job search, not at the end. Find out what people will say about you pro and con. Uh, make sure that you alert people to the prospect of getting a call at around the time that you expect they will be getting phone calls and who those calls might be from. And lastly, Make sure you let them know some of the themes that you've talked about in your interviews so they can be consistent and tell stories related to some of those themes. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, here are a few ways that I could help you. First of all, you can hire me to coach you throughout your job search in every way imaginable. That includes a resume and or LinkedIn profile critique interview preparation, helping you with a salary negotiation and or networking, answering your questions about your job search, giving you advice about a decision you have to make once you have the offer. We can work in 30-minute or one-hour increments throughout your search. And the easiest way to talk with me about it is by connecting with me at linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter mention that you listen to the show. I just like knowing that I'm helping folks. And once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. We'll do a free discovery conversation with one another. If you're not interested in coaching and you just have a few questions, the easiest way to do it is by reaching out to me through the Magnify app for iOS. That's Magnify with an I or if you don't have an iOS device, if you're an Android user or you just want to call me on the phone, do it through PrestoExperts.com where I'm a career coach and job search expert. For those of you who've been listening to the show, you know that you know I always talk about JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And recently, we've been changing the focus of the site to really emphasize interviewing and answering tough interview questions. If you join... You'll have access to curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that's designed to help you find work more quickly, as well as videos and podcasts and other information. Again, an emphasize in interviewing and answering tough interview questions. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and get two months for free instead of the one month that the site offers. And the last thing I want to mention to you is schedule me for lunch. I do it at 12.30 most days, and for now I'm making myself available Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for lunch at 12.30 Eastern Time. We'll meet over Zoom and be able to see one another. You bring something to eat, or if it's early for you, you know, very simply bring some coffee with you. We'll sit and talk for 45 minutes. I'll answer your questions. That's less for $175. That's less than what I charge for comparable time for my coaching. So again, reach out to me through LinkedIn and we'll schedule a time for lunch. Have a great day. Take care. Welcome to the Total Wireless Store, where total confidence awaits. Our daughter's off to summer camp, and we're worried our network coverage won't reach her. Don't worry. You got this with Total Wireless. Our phones run on the nation's best 4G LTE network. It'll be like she never left. The nation's best network? I feel better already. Now you can focus on how you're spending your summer. Discover the Total Wireless Stores and get total confidence. The latest phones, the best network, all at great prices. Now open in New York. Refer to the latest terms and conditions of service at TotalWireless.com. You sit at a desk. They sit at a desk. You have sales reports. They have book reports. You need supplies. They need supplies. Business is a lot like school. That's why your small business should take advantage of back-to-school deals at Staples. Now, Staples 1-inch 3-ring binders are $1.92. 
One subject notebooks are just 25 cents and two pocket poly folders are just 35 cents each. Make back to school your business at Staples. In store only while supplies last. Offer ends 9 limit 30.